Hello, and welcome to this reaction of Avatar The Last Airbender. On season one, episode 19. We are in the final two episodes. We are we are at the climax. Everything has led to this. We are we are with our gang of three in the north. Uh, they had just got waterbending teaching. The Fire Nation is on the way. Dal thinks he killed Zuko, and Iroh and him kind of snuck on the ship. But without further ado, let's get to the show and just watch it and react together. Nice try, pupil Sangok. A couple of more years and you might be ready to fight a sea spot. Tara, you've advanced more quickly than any student I've ever trained. Figure since you found time to play with house pets, you must have already mastered waterbending. I wouldn't say mastered, but check this out. I mean, not in this life. It just feels... I know what you need. You need to meet my good friend, Appa. Who? Appa and I go way back, don't we, boy? Ah! Ah, easy! Down, boy! Ah, no! Up! Woo, yeah! Ah, <sighs> good times, good times. Hey, Don't what? you have a girlfriend? What's happening? Oh, no. Oh, that's soot. Soot. What? I've seen it before. Right before my village was attacked. It's soot mixed with snow. But why? It's the Fire Nation. They've closed in on the North Pole. History is not always kind to its subjects. I suppose you speak from experience. You guys already threw the world out of balance sure, with the airbenders, so... This will be nothing like your legendary failure at Ba Sing Se. I hope not, for your sake. No, Sokka, wait. I can't see you anymore. Not at all. What? We're just friends. I wish we could just be friends, but I like you too much, and it's too confusing to be around you. I'm marrying someone else. It is with great sadness I call my family here before me, knowing well that some of these faces are about to vanish from our tribe. But they will never vanish from our heart. Count me in. Sokka. Be warned. Many of you will not return. Come forward to receive my mark if you accept the task. Music is so good. This show is so good. What's your problem? Fire Navy uniforms don't look like that. Of course they do. These are real uniforms captured from actual Fire Navy soldiers. When, like a hundred years ago? 85. Our first objective is to determine the identity of their commanding officer. His name is Zhao. Middle-aged, big sideburns, bigger temper. Sokka, I want you to tell everything you know to Han. He's leading this mission. Huh? Stop those fireballs! Oh, now you want to do it? As your military consultant, I must advise you to halt your attack. The waterbenders draw their power from the moon, and it is nearly full tonight. You should wait and resume the attack at daybreak. Can't do it. I can't do it. 
What happened? Must have taken out a dozen Fire Navy ships, but there's just too many of them. I can't fight them all. But you have to. You're the Avatar. I'm just one kid. Well, ever since I lost my son... Uncle, you don't have to say it. I think of you as my own. I know, Uncle. We'll meet again. Let me tell you, Soka. I've courted a lot of girls, but Yue is the finest. Call him Soka. Most perks. <laughs> perks? What does that mean? I mean, Yue's nice and everything, but the points I'll gain with the chief aren't bad either. Princess Yue is wasted on a self-absorbed weasel like you. Soka, you're off the mission. All right, fall in, man. Everybody listen to what I say, and we'll take out this Admiral Cho in no time. It's Admiral Zhao. Why do they make him sound like an idiot surfer? Dude, the animals in this show are just top notch. A turtle seal? <laughs> Come on! Spirits! Maybe I can find them and get their help. How can you do that? The Avatar is the bridge between our world and the spirit world. Aang can talk to them. Maybe they'll give you the wisdom to win this battle. Or maybe they'll unleash a crazy, amazing spirit attack on the Fire Nation. To get there on your own. But I can take you to the most spiritual place in the entire North Pole. Apparently they have grass in the North Pole. Ooh, yin and yang. Oh man, I want one. Come on. I gotta make something that damn cute. He is determined. Oh, that's got to be cold. That doesn't make sense to me either. He shouldn't be able to make heat like under ice cold water. Meditating, trying to cross over. Is he okay? He's crossing into the spirit world. He'll be fine as long as we don't move his body. I see you've learned a new trick, but I didn't come this far to lose to you. He is determined. You little peasant. You found a master, haven't you? It is nighttime and Katara is pretty powerful. Well, was. <laughs> it's day uh, I didn't think it ended that quick. Let's write history. You rise with the moon. I rise with the sun. They just. Whatever. Water. The stupidest way possible you can go, Zuko. So Zuko is determined. Like, good God, he makes some dumb mistakes. Car was out. No one was around. You literally could have went towards the ocean. Then you go towards the glacier. Speaking of the glacier. I know I said it in the episode. I don't know if it'll show up in the cut. Why wouldn't they just, why would you build that close to the water? Obviously the cold doesn't bother you. It looks pretty. I like the city architecture, but why wouldn't you build something that if our nation ever came that you can lift higher than they can get and then you control the high ground. You already control the water. So yeah, all right. Um, favorite scene was that fight scene at the end between Kar Katara and Zuko. But my least favorite scenes, and it's it's been this way for 
this episode and last episode is when the princess decides she needs to leave because she can't be around Zuko because that is so damn annoying and it just happens so much in these two episodes and I think it happens in the next one too but oh it's so annoying but I wrote down Katara is awesome the north has literally no info on the world I mean I get it you're in the north but you wouldn't send scouts out I wrote down they couldn't raise the ice it just made no sense I don't get it Zuko is determined as hell and I want to leave off on Zuko and Uncle Iroh with their like father-son relationship which you could see like you know developing throughout the whole season i guess i didn't give my, my uh yeah least favorite character you know is gal because he's just a moron and princess ua is soon to be husband or betrothed he's a moron too Sokka favorite episode just because he's you know Sokka. i mean he, he's right she's wasted on an idiot but with that being said thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed feel free to like share subscribe comment below it does help until next time